Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this short video, I'm going to tell you how you can perform a comprehensive literature search and then you can merge the searches as well as you can find the duplicates for your systematic review or for any comprehensive search that you are going to do. So in this example, I'm going to use two databases. I've already generated two files. This is uh, from Cochrane and this is from PubMed. So let's try to import these things into the EndNote. Here you can see I have created or opened EndNote library. First thing that we need to do is you need to create a group set. Let's call it as these searches are on cerebral palsy. So let's call it as cerebral palsy. Here it is. And then you can right click and create a group. In this group, let's say I want all the studies or all the articles that I have exported through the PubMed, they should come under this folder. And we can also create a group from for the Cochrane. Cochrane. Okay. This is very simple to do. Now, what we can do, we need to import the files. First of all, let's go to the file and click on to the import. And this is uh, selected as reference manager RIS. So we will select the RIS format, which is the Cochrane import and click import. And you will see about 511 articles or their titles have been along with their abstracts have been imported. Now you can right click over here, select all and right click and then add these references to the Cochrane. You will see that this number has been increased from 0 to 511. Now I need to rename this group. This is very important. Cochrane and 511. That's it. Why I did this? You will see I, I wrote the name as Cochrane 511 because once the duplicates have been removed, then you will know for sure that uh, what were the total number of researches that were uh, recruited or included by you. Now I will click over here and I will select the PubMed if there is option and click choose and this is the PubMed and we will select import. You see. Now the imported references are 56. I will select all, control A and right click. And now I will add these references to PubMed. These are 56. And at the same time, I need to rename it PubMed 56. That's it. Now we have these references, a total of 567 out of which 56 references are from the PubMed and 511 are from Cochrane. So I want to make sure whether there is any article or any research that is duplicate in these two. So I may click onto the all references. I may select control all and I can select the references and find duplicates. Now as soon as I selected this option, it will tell me that there are two duplicates and we can see from ABD L Cafe is re repeated two times from Cochrane as well as from the PubMed. So I want to keep, I have to keep one record. Okay, so let's say I want to keep this one. You can scroll down, up and down to see whether this is a different version of the same article or whatsoever. But right now let's click this. It will again say that there's another duplicate. You need to keep it and you might see these duplicates. So we will keep on keeping some records and removing the duplicates this way. It may take a while. You can see the scroll is getting down and about maybe two or three more. And there you go. So these are the actual researches that are left. For example, you see from the PubMed, we had in reality 56 uh, articles or researches that were imported, but all of these were compared with these. So there were about 56 articles in, in reality in total and from 56, 15 were left. So it means that about 41 articles 
have been duplicated and they have been removed you can see this is just the number and you will find these in the trash if you want and in the Cochrane you will also get these so this is the number that you have to export now for example all the references are here so what we can do we can select control A you can now copy these let's copy them and the best way is open the Excel new workbook and control V we, we need to do it again let's say copy and control V it, it has to be okay so we need to export all of these so first control A select all and then right click and copy formatted please and then you need to paste it onto the word but when you paste it you see that this is not properly formatted and this is very difficult to fix so let's select all of it and go to the insert and click onto the table and then we need to click on to convert text to the table so over here you should select the number of columns to and fix column width auto and select this as tabs and click ok now you will see that this is basically very important that we have created a table out of it you can right click and insert a column to the right and even you can insert a row above I will tell you why I'm doing this so over here you may write as serial number this is the serial number here you may write as the title of the research and here you may write your decision if you want to make a decision about let's say whether you want to include this or exclude it, this article or this study then it's really very good uh, because this is not uh, arranged yearly if you want to arrange this yearly what you can do is you can simply click over here or over here now from 1974 to all the way you can go for example let's do it again once more we need to select all of these and right click and copy formatted and now i'm going to delete this and insert this paste this and let's go and see what we can do insert table and convert table text to table and over here now you, you you can see i can create another column to the right and this can be my decision for example my decision for example this i may say no i don't want to keep it because it is it is 1974 still this 1974 or maybe i can start choosing from uh, 2007 or whatsoever so this is just the title okay uh, you can create you can export the titles like this and even you can select one by one for example double click and you may read this is the abstract of the study if this has to be included or excluded you can make the decision one by one and that that's how it is done so this is uh, very important and easy to do and if you will practice it more and more you will surely understand that th th this is one of the biggest challenge while uh, you want to perform uh, or conduct a systematic review or comprehensive research review and you can filter these because th these are just plain exports you can filter your results so your total number may be 100 or 200 or even 400 depending upon the searches that you have used so then I believe you can easily uh, overcome this problem uh, that most of the people find it difficult that how it can be done so you have got your numbers you have got your uh, duplicates removed and you can also have your results very easily and in an effective way so i hope you like this video thank you very much